I uh, don't know the length of these screws as well, but we'll figure them out as we go. This one's an i 11th gen i9 processor, I believe. So a fair bit of wattage going into this one. Don't, I'm not sure if this has been cleaned once before, if the screws fell out, or what the story might be. Might have to get you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. This is a rather large machine. Granted, it's a rather large chassis. With a 3080 in here, a 3080 16 gig model, I believe this one might be. We believe the factory seal sticker over here looks to be okay. Yet we're missing three screws. I don't know if someone's attempted to open it up and got nowhere, or what may have happened. Okay. And this one. Nope. Yeah, one. There we go. Those screws are all out of the way now. Now I'll lift it up at the back, or try to. Ah, there we go. What are we going to see? Oh yeah, we're going to see some thermal throttling for sure. Check that out. Now hopefully, with a bit of magic. And the dirt is not really gone. I just gave it a blast with an air compressor. It's still fairly stuck there, so we'll be giving it a bit more of a thorough clean. I do want to take the cooler off. I do want to disconnect the battery down here. I'm making my air compressor going off in the background. Just after I gave it a blast, I'll give it another blast soon. Yeah, where's number one? Two, three, number one. I can't even see number one. Is it under here? No. And then bunches. Ah, that's what one of the screws is, it looks like, up here. No, it's still relatively there. This one doesn't want to leave. Get up. Get up. There we go. No, and no. Yeah, no guess, no prizes here as, as to guessing which one is the CPU and which one is the GPU. With the hint being, this system has a 3080 in it. So where do you think 3080 might be hidden under? And this one. Disconnect the fan. Disconnect the fan. I may have to just twist this slightly. Uh, that's lifted for me. Pull that up. No. I still can't see where number one is. I'm going to assume that's number one here, where there's a screw missing. There we go. Now we're lifting. Whew, Jesus, someone went to town. It's not quite thermal paste. It's definitely some goop, that's for sure. These two will need to be get a bit of loving. I'll just sit this here for now. Okay, put that on there. Just using some tissue paper, aka toilet paper, and some isopropyl alcohol to clean that up. 
Now, sadly, I don't have enough thermal paste or whatever goop was used here. That just looks brutal. I don't know if someone's replaced thermal pads. Uh, I highly doubt it would have come from the factory like that. It just looks wrong. So I suspect someone else may have worked on this prior in the previous years of ownership. And here on the 3080, that's some love. And the cooler. Up. Focus over here. And I don't know. Thermal paste got in the end of the uh, bottle and a bit wild there. and a dab. Go. Not perfect, but that's going to be fine enough for what I want to get it to. Now I'm going to take this out of the back and give this a dust out and a blow out. Hopefully we're going to be better from there. Some thermal paste around here. Cool Master Z, uh, Deep Cool Z5. Some of that on here. Some of that on here. I'll spread that around in just a second. Use a little spatula that comes with it. Start here just because I think I used a bit too much on here. Go a bit light on over here. A bit more on. There we go. Happy with that. Uh, and I'm happy with that. Our installation should be basically flipping it back over. Putting it the correct way. Go. Connect up the fan on one side. 
fan on the other side. Push it down and wiggle it around. Now, we'll go three, two, I'll go four. Uh, we go one. We go one. Nope, one is a different length screw. I'll go four. There we go. Now I need to do the, up the tension on here. Go a little bit on five. Move these cables out of the way. Yep. A little bit on six. A little bit on seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now I'll just tighten them up even more. One. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're installed. Now from here, it's a matter of putting the back cover or the bottom cover back on, and also reconnecting the battery. That would be a good idea. Okay, that just slides back in pretty evenly. Go. That slid back in. The bottom cover, if I hook it over the back and pull it towards the front, I'm assuming that should kind of work its way back in. Yep, and there we go. Should click crunch into position. Yeah. Check on the other side as well, squish down. Mostly good. Now it's a matter of putting these screws back in. Would prioritize putting them on the corners especially on the back two corners, mainly because that's where the hinges are. So, or at least that's what I expected. I didn't actually take too much notice on this one. We'll proceed through. And along the front, all the screws themselves look to be of the same length. Uh, yes, they do look to be of the same length. Anyway, I hope that has helped you replace the thermal paste on your GE76 Raider 11UH. And I'm going to continue putting these screws in. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. God, these front screws just keep going. The screws get bored and the tension actually goes off as you tighten it up. <laughs> Two, three, up this corner up here. Somehow I thought I magic another screw. Bingo! Ta-ta and farewell.